What is up guys, I'm Neil Jolly and welcome inside Jolly Studios where we talk about everything cameras to sneakers. And today we're talking about the George 6 Retro Hair. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. I'm so glad to see all of you guys here. And we have another hair colorway of 2022 review. As some of you might remember, I did review the Jordan 7 Retro Hair 2.0s a couple months back. And I've still got this pair and I believe I gave these a hold slash pass in my review of this sneaker. And let's just say not a whole lot has changed in my liking towards this sneaker. And if you're interested in checking out the review to learn all about out this colorway then I'll link the video at the end on screen for you to check this review out and these have actually fallen way below a retail value on the resale market and so if you're interested in picking up a pair I've left a direct link in the description box below for you to check these out and potentially scoop up a pair for yourself but today we're talking about the Jordan 6 retro hair and so let's get into the unboxing moving into the in-depth review of the sneaker giving you guys a on-foot look and finally my verdict on whether you should shoot hold or pass on your shot at these sneakers. So without further ado, let's get into the inboxing. Coming in a special edition white box with a large carrot that is symbolic for Bugs Bunny and a Jumpman printed in black on the top of the box. We've also got the Air Jordan branding and a smaller Jumpman printed in black along the sides. This impressive packaging is the same as the Jordan 7 Hair 2.0s that released earlier this year. And upon lifting the lid, we've got this multicolored geometrically patterned tissue paper. And then we've got another round of tissue paper in white and finally resting inside are the Jordan 6 retro hairs with no other dressings inside the box. The Jordan 6 is widely known as the sneaker Michael Jordan won his first NBA championship in and the Jordan 7 which did follow up the 6 is a sneaker that received the OG hair colorway and that did signify the relationship between Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. And ever since we have gotten a few different iterations of the hair colorway and this happens to be the first official hair colorway for the Jordan 6 and when images of the sneaker were put online I have to say my interest was peaked but having them in hand I've got to say I'm quite impressed by the materials of this sneaker but how good are they well to answer that question let's get into the in-depth review of the sneaker starting from the front to the back and from the top to the bottom when it comes to the uppers on the sneaker we've got a mix of some neutral gray synthetic nubuck and some true white leather paneling and as we make our way across the neutral gray toe the synthetic nubuck has got that rubbery texture texture to it, but otherwise smooth on touch. Moving into the lacing system, we've got some flat white laces that are weaving through seven eyelets on the sneaker. And then standard with all Jordan 6s, we've got Jumpman branding in black on this solid red shiny neoprene material that's built into the shoe tongue. And then we've got one of the coolest details on the sneaker for me, which is the standard Jordan 6 lace lock, but colored like a carrot with a Jumpman printed in red. Behind the laces, we've got a red neoprene shoe tongue with perforated holes throughout the tongue and as we make our way to the top of the translucent tongue we've got this rubberized air jordan branding that is embossed into the rubber sliding over to the midfoot it's practically identical on both the medial and lateral sides with perforated holes throughout the neutral gray portions and we've got a thick cut of true white leather paneling that does feel grainy in texture on touch and as we move towards the ankle molding it's really nicely padded and feels really plush on the interior but quite stiff on the exterior when given a squeeze so these should feel really nice and supported on your ankle when on feet and the material should hold up well on the exterior over time. Moving to the back of the sneaker, we've got one of my personal favorite details on the sneaker, which is the spoiler. And we've got a red trim on the black spoiler with some purple stitching as well, which is such a nice touch. And moving further down on the heel, we see the Jumpman Air branding embroidered in purple directly into the white leather paneling. And then moving inside of the sneaker, we've got this soft fabric lining in black and then we've We've got an insole in the standout tribal pattern with a Jumpman in white on the heel. And upon removing the polyurethane insole, we can see that these are board lasted. Moving to the bottom of the sneaker, we've got a true white polyurethane midsole, an encapsulated air unit on the forefoot, and a visible air unit on the heel. And then we've got a standout rubber outsole with translucent red hits and a Jumpman in purple and some green rubber on the heel. But now it's my favorite part of the video where I finally get to throw these sneakers on feet, style them, and give 
you guys a closer look. When it comes to sizing, the Air Jordan 6 Retro Hairs are advised to fit true to size, and I'd agree. I picked up a size 9.5 US, which is my standard size, and these fit comfortably on my feet. Released on June 17th of 2020, this is a pair that retailed for 190 USD, and for us here in Canada, 250 Canadian. And to my surprise, these sneakers are still sitting on some shelves, and I initially thought these sneakers had actually sold out, at least that's what they'd shown, but maybe some inventory arrived late, or maybe I was just mistaken but the sneaker did generate some hype not a whole lot but they are still available like I said on some retail websites in some limited sizing but if you're looking for a destination that has all sizing I've left a direct link in the description box below to StockX where the pricing is pretty much close to retail value for you to check these sneakers out and potentially pick up a pair for yourself but now is a part of the video where I make my case for whether you should shoot hold or pass on your shot at these sneakers with shoot being picking these sneakers up at their current retail price, hold being potentially waiting for these sneakers to go on sale or another opportunity to pick these sneakers up, and pass being that these sneakers might not be for me or for you, but for somebody else. And when it comes to the Air Jordan 6 Retro Hairs, I'm going to give these a hold and here's why. In my opinion, this is probably the best hair colorway and release since the OG Hair 7s, and I think a lot of it has to do with the overall attention to detail on the sneaker, the build, the materials, and the special packaging that these sneakers did come with. I'm talking about some real leather. I love that translucent shoe tongue with the tribal patterns on the inside. We've got a lace lock that looks like a carrot. We've also got some 3M on the uppers, a really nice outsole with that geometrical pattern on the bottom, a polyurethane insole. Like they absolutely destroyed and killed the execution on this sneaker. And in going back to a sneaker we just reviewed, which is the Air Jordan 5 Retro Top 3, where I was a little bit more critical about the pricing because of the materials on that sneaker. These happen to be at 10 to $15 cheaper with better materials. And so in answering the question of this video, which is how good are these? I'd say when it comes to the materials on the sneaker, these are very, very good. And I guess you could also argue that because the materials are so great and the execution of the colorway is done quite well in terms of the hair colorway and being the second best in my opinion, since the original Hair 7s, that this is also another underrated Jordan of 2020. But why am I giving these a hold? Well, with all of those things considered that I just mentioned, specifically as it pertains to the colorway and storytelling of the sneaker, it just isn't for everybody. The average consumer might not know the connection point between Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny if they've never seen Space Jam or any of the hair colorways. And I guess you could say that there is a lot of color going on on the sneaker, and that also might not be for everybody. There's a lot going on in the world right Right now and sneakers aren't the priority so I could definitely see other pairs that are more traditionally Chicago Bulls themed or retros of OG colorways that are more highly sought after and a pair like this might actually get slept on and continue to sit on shelves and for that reason I'd say I'm gonna give these a hold and like I said if these continue to sit on shelves I could definitely see these going on sale and that is when you should strike but now I'd love to hear from you guys what are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 6 retro hairs is this a shoot hold or pass for you. Let me know in the comment section below and I'd love to connect with you guys there. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's review and if you really liked it, I hope that you will subscribe and join the community here on this channel because we've got a lot more sneaker videos that are on the way. But that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, for your time and support of this channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.